you, you've inspired a lot of coaches, but who inspired you? Um, yes, there were, I would say, two or three people who inspired me. In the first instance, it was uh, uh, um, a friend of mine, he, he's Helmut Groß. He inspired not only myself, but also quite a few other German coaches. He was uh, an amateur coach himself. Um, um, in normal business, he was uh, uh, an engineer building bridges, and uh, he was at the time probably the first um, coach in Germany who played with a back four, with the ball orientated uh, zone marking. And, uh, and I met him when I was 23, 24, and he had great influence on my development as a coach. And since then we've worked together uh, at Red Bull in Hoffenheim. Um, yes, and during my time as a, as a coach, uh, um, I was inspired by Arrigo Saki uh, at the time at Milan, I mean, in, in the 80s. Uh, they not only dominated European football, but uh, they also created a very sustainable, a very special, a very unique style of football that I liked a lot. And in my time, in my first time of uh, coaching in my hometown in Baknang, we played against Dynamo Kiev. Uh, I was on the pitch and I have told that story quite a few times. After 10 minutes, I had to count the players on the pitch uh, because it felt as if they had one or two players more than, than, than my team. Uh, and after the game, I spoke to Valery Lobanovsky with a translator, and he told me that they trained that every day, pressing uh, all over the pitch uh, all the time. So I went to see their training sessions, and from then on, I knew why they were playing like this, and that it is possible to play like this if you very consequently work on this uh, on a daily basis in training. 